Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 7 of this pack. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to finish this, um, where the teller would be going. Uh, we created the section for this, and then we added some some glass in front and as you can see we have this beautiful curve um, teller section now let's go back to level one and i just want to add more right here this will be where the accounting will be and so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select that i notch it in place a little bit and then i'm going to use mirror command to just add back to back Yes, like so. So press escape and then escape again. Next, this box. So this um, wall that is uh, rectangular in shape. I want to change this to exterior wall number one. And I'm going to edit this. Duplicate will be exterior wall number two. And then I'm going to change the material. So I'm going to put it in a stone material right here. So let's add in this one. Click apply and then OK. And then OK again. So now this wall will be wall number two exterior. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to architecture. Click on wall. And then here on drop down. We're going to use curtain wall. We're going to add the window right here. Um, let's add the door first and then another curtain wall going up. So I'm going to space bar here because I want it to be from the interior part. So around 2000, I believe that's good enough width for a double door. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in another one right here. So this will be the vestibule area. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut geometry. So you need to click on walls and then curtain wall. Wall and then curtain wall. And I want to view this in 3D. I want to move this one, this door. Um, it will be around because I want a bigger uh, wall all around here. So I just want to add this curtain wall right here and then add wall all about, um, all going up. And then that wall will have glass door all throughout so here i'm just adding this and then i'm gonna use i'm gonna set this one right now i'm just going to move this one a little bit shorter so it's gonna be have a top offlet of 1500 i think that's good enough so negative should be click apply and i believe that's good enough height for a door and then this one, this is the vestibule. I'm just going to leave it like that. Or let's just maintain negative 1500 so that it's around 25, uh, 2500 up. So now what I'm going to do is click on architecture, click on curtain grid, and then select in the middle right here. Here, let's add in in the middle. Add in the middle right that and then around 700 on the side so that we have something that looks like this and then we could just add a curtain grid again at the top maybe around 500 here about 500 at top so I'm happy with this and then now we could add in Go back to architecture and click on mullion and then all grid 
let's change this one to rectangular 50 by 65 and then make sure you select all grid and then add this one right here all grid but at the same time press escape and then escape again select the one at the bottom delete that the one in the middle delete that and then bottom again you do this on the other ones as well right here and then right there and at the, at the at the middle as well it's because we're going to add in the door so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to insert load family make sure you're in the door family and then add in curtain wall single glass door so click on open and then in order for you to change this panel to a door what you need to do is select tab you want to make sure that it highlights only the panel the glass panel this is the glass panel now what you need to do is go drop down and then select door here again click on tab you want to make sure that's that's the only one that is highlighted and then change the door don't worry about that we're going to change it uh, afterwards so let's just finish this make sure this is the only thing it's highlighted and then go to drop down and change it that and then lastly do this onto this side now to change orientation you just need to go to level and then here you can just flip it what I usually like is to flip this on the other side and then here flip this one again and go on the other side this one let's just flip it this way so now we have going this way and then this way on the other side and then if you look at this this is looking good for the entrance door and the vestibule side door as well so now what we could do is we could add a wall right here and then actually this wall so I'm gonna tab it all the way I want all of this ones only so if it's not working out what you can do is you could select this one all of them click on tab or just hover the, your cursor and then make sure everything is highlighted which is this one is highlighted by itself and what I want you to do is to change this one up to level 3 so once you do that I want you to add a little bit more on the top offset and I'm just going to add a top offset of around maybe 1000 so I'm just going to add that it will look like this so even though we haven't added the second floor yet it will look like this for the entrance I want this one to be all window and then all window here as well so I want that to be the the look of this so now I'm gonna go back here let's add in another curtain wall so here wall and then curtain one is already added let's add a curtain wall right here on this side and then right here again on this side And then what we could do is go to 3D and to locate that curtain wall. And as you can see, it's right here. It's located there, but it's just visible. Un, um, it's not showing up. So what we need to do is go to modify cut geometry on that. Select the curtain wall. And then here another one cut geometry we need to double check here select cut geometry right there so once you do you just need to pull this one up like that and then up again on this side so we have this and then we have to select this one again and then pull it upwards like that. So 
So we could just give it some gap a little bit. And what we could do is we could align them all together if we want to. But we're going to pull it a little bit down like that. I'm going to align it so that everything looks similar. AL. Align this one from the bottom right here. And then the bottom right here. There we go. And then on this side to this side. But this one is not looking good. So what I could do is just undo this. And I want to change it from level 2 because it's not showing up here. So I want, I'm going to pull this one a little bit because I don't want it to be all the way. I always have to have a little bit of that showing. So AL and then put it there. AL and so it has this look right here. And once we are finished here, we have the second floor. It will look amazing because we have this high um, windows right here. And it's all the way to the second floor and going beyond. It will have this vestibule area that is uh, really high with um, glass. And we can finish this off as well. So we could just add grids. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Put it right here and divide this one properly so divide this one in the middle and then divide more and what we'll have is multiple class like that and then we could have it clean up as well in R so here divide divide again divide so we will have this design like that that will be good enough to have so everything is divide and uh, the look of this once we have our um, mullion so select this mullion all grid 50 by 65 again and then select this and as you can see it looks really nice having that design right there and obviously we're gonna do the same thing right here so click on curtain grid look for the midpoint and then divide this again midpoint again and then midpoint and usually it snaps in the middle so it's actually really easy to have or to click so usually it's snap in the midpoint of everything and then on the on the one third as well so it could be one third and it could be um, halves depending on where you place it that's why every time you place it there it will be able to create that and it shows like it's uh, 50 50 in length so now I'm happy with this what I want to do next is just regular windows around here so let's go to level one again and let's add curtain wall all around so I want it to be added onto this side so this side we could add in another window and then add it right here as well and you just want to make it like that and then here I could just add it right here 
right here and then this one should be going to flip on this side and then I'm happy with that and how it looks I'm just gonna pull this one later on um, in terms of the stairs I'm just gonna leave it probably with or without depending on how I'm going to feel um, in the looks here in kitchen obviously we need to add windows right here and it's better to add it onto the boardroom or meeting room and then right here as well add it on this side and then i'm happy with this maybe we could add it right here to just have it there and then i want to add it on this side so that we have more natural light coming in on this space because this will be open all the way up so this area will be open all, all the way up and we'll be able to add more right here and also I want to extend this one just a little bit more I just want to cover all of this so this space so that at least uh, nobody can um, hear or they still have privacy there so I'm just moving this one a little bit just a little bit onto that side just to have that space and then I'm just X, um, just basically from here it will be 9800 so that's good enough space right there and then we could have something like a, a line here um, hopefully I could see something that will have some line for the um, waiting waiting line basically that they could fall into and then they could just have it there um, and then here I'm just going to fix this I'm going to pull this one I just want a little bit on the side like I said and what we did right here I'm just reviewing what I did and then I'm going to select cut geometry first so wall and then curtain wall and then if we want to make it bigger we could do that as well so I'm just doing that right now so wherever we put the window we need to do this again we could extend this a little bit more if you want to so we can extend this I want more of that window area right there so we're going to stop here for now and continue in the next video. So thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.